right now. We're just about to meet lovely Roy. He's eight years old and has spent his life dedicated to the conservation of birds. And this is a really special film. You love this. It is great to be able to do things positively for wildlife in a time when so much is negative. First time I saw a white-tailed eagle was on Ferrar in 1968, and that opened a great big cardboard box that had come by plane from Norway. And I looked in, and there's this monster bird with great big dark eyes and a massive beak looking at me. There were three of them. We reared those birds and released them. That was fantastic. My name is Roy Dennis. I'm a birder and ecologist. I've worked in the Scottish Highlands since 1959. The white-tailed eagle is our largest bird of prey. Two-meter wings. When they're flying, you can't really mistake them. These birds were intensely persecuted in the past. When I came to Scotland as an 18-year-old, the white-tailed eagle was exterminated from Scotland. A few of us always felt that was totally wrong. We must bring these birds back. And we've re-established the bird in Scotland. So there's about 140 pairs breeding. So what we try to do is fast track them back to places where they could live. By building a really big nest, it's rare for a young pair to have to build a nest because they always take over from other birds which have died. So they're like leapfrogging over the centuries on the same nest. But when you lose them, those nests disappear. We were looking for a place on Allerdale Estate, and we know that white-tailed eagles fly down this river. And when we came up and searched, we found this tree. I think this is a good location. The manager on Allerdale Reserve, Innes, is just a great enthusiast for this sort of stuff. And then Ian and Fraser, exceptionally good tree climbers, four good friends, creating possibly a new dynasty of eagles. I find it a bit hard that I can't climb up the trees anymore, but I know that Ian and Fraser are just brilliant at it. <laughs> I've seen nests which are well over a metre wide, so it's our role to make them really secure. So, nest on here, branches coming round and to here. The first branches that go up are about four inches across and those create the base which fits into the live branches in the tree by creating a fixed triangle and then laying sticks across. We slowly build it up. OK. OK, I've got it. Then we layer slightly smaller sticks and then slowly we create like a great big wreath. Got a lot of moss. <laughs> and then we pack moss and heather, and then finally leaf mold, making it look as though a pair of eagles used it last year, and then a young pair will take it over. That's a good nest. Oh. Yeah, I'm happy with that. The day then. Innes phones me up and says, you'll never believe this, there's a bird on that nest. I'm like, oh, that'd be great. Oh, well, that is like the grand designs of nests. <laughs> it was there pretty special. <laughs> and how much do we love Roy? Oh. I okay. love some Roy. Um, so he said they haven't been able to check if an eagle has landed yet, but as soon as lockdown is over, he'll be straight up there to mm. check.